Yeah. So Jeremy, a Jen Lewis with Three Cheeks in a Pod and News Ditch Media. The, um, just with the division changes this year, is there a team other than, you know, the rivalries that you're looking the most forward to playing this upcoming season? And then one follow-up question after that. Yeah, not really. I mean, I'm not really a hard to too much about who we're playing. ACC's been ACC. Yeah. I've been here. I've been here for four years, so I'm just trying to get the main, the main thing, and that's what I'm just talking about. Because yeah. everybody has goals and aspirations and stuff like that, but we're going to be playing everybody's ready to take care of so we just accolades. Pro accolades or whatever, 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 the next year. And you just kind of segued a moment ago to my other question. Where do you see with all the changes last year, did you have anyone of the new players like really help change and implement new styles into your game? Uh, like, and really like impress you and make you try harder in one area? Uh, probably just Tyrese is passionate. I mean, I feel like I'm very passionate. He's had, he's, he's coming from Australia, he's coming from the overseas scene, so they got kind of a different style, kind of like playing the game. So I just, that was kind of fascinating. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I gotta throw ninth out there for sure. I'll go I'll go all time and I'll go I'll go now. Uh, so I'll go ninth one here. You gotta throw Kanye in there. He's a, he's a, here we go. He's a, he's a stable for sure. Uh, Swiss Beats said a lot of stuff. I'll just throw him. i just throw him in there. And then now, like I like Weezy, uh, Chi Chi. These like Atlanta. These like Atlanta guys. And then I throw one in there. Like, that's that's kind of an outcast. And my, my man Energy from, uh, from Detroit. I don't know if y'all you know, heard of him, but uh, Energy Beats for sure. Okay. You're the kind of elder statesman and everything too, and you've been through, seen the process as it evolves. How have you seen NIL benefit the athlete uh, in your time? Um, it's benefiting us, for, I mean, greatly, obviously, now we can earn money in college, earn uh, a good amount of cash, and obviously get that before we hit the pro levels. But I think just NIL wise and financially, literacy wise, I mean, it's kind of uh, it's a chance for us to kind of grow early on and not make that mistake when we have a plethora of money in, in the, in the, in the, at the pro level. Like, we're getting this amount of money now, so why not? Uh, go to the bumps and bruises now, obviously, and kind of learn what to do with money early on instead of getting to the pros and kind of just doing it all, and then you don't have, you don't have anything to fall back on, so that's the biggest thing. As a fellow Scorpio, happy early birthday, <laughs> you know. Um, you. How do you feel about your birthday kind of kicking off the season? Does it give you a little extra pep every day? Uh, definitely, uh, a little extra pep. I mean, November 1st, Scorpio is definitely the um, That's funny, actually, how you said that. I didn't even know that we had a game there. Well, I thought the game was on the second, but it's actually on my birthday. So definitely excited about that. Always a good time to play on my birthday. Uh, I know the crazies go the crazies will go crazy on Your first game playing on your birthday? Say that one. It's your first game playing on your birthday? First game. I don't think this is my I think I played a high school game on my birthday. Scrimmage, but not an actual this is an exhibition, but What's the best road city in your opinion? The ACC, both on and off court. I play to see the toughest play at Arena Retech. Retech, man. They have a nice little thing going on there. Road City. I'm trying to think. I don't know. Miami. I mean, Miami's always good. Who will be your starting five in ACC? My starting five at Duke. Oh, I don't even know who's going. I'm not going to put the start. I'm not going to put the start. I'll put the uh, four. The four returners. Uh, anybody on any, anybody on the roster? Uh, this is my man Jay Blakes, Caleb Foster, Sean Stewart, TJ, Jeremy King, or whoever. Whoever puts that. I'm not going to throw anything out there. During the summer workouts, did you uh, get to play with some of the pros, the brotherhood? Uh, Duke brothers that came in, and if so, did you learn something from them? Yeah, I mean, I actually got to work out with uh, Jason Tatum uh, out in California. That was a good time. I worked out for about a week, so uh, 
that was a, just a crazy experience working out with him, seeing, day, seeing what he does on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, kind of made me kind of rethink of what I need to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis for sure. But um, I'm definitely just talking to him, just going through his experiences at Duke and in the pro levels, just trying to uh, ask for tips and stuff like that for uh, what to do at the pro level. I mean, obviously in the mindset uh, coming into this season. He asked about NIL earlier. I want to go back to that for a second about the financial literacy that's involved now. When all this money comes in, all of a sudden you got to make sure you handle it right. You pay taxes. Yeah. Um, what kind of training went into that? What did you do to make sure you were you were good in that area? Uh, I think just me growing up in an area with kind of some money, um, I kind of learned, kind of learned, kind of learned, kind of learned quick. Um, my mom's good at financial literacy, so she's definitely definitely something that uh, I leave my leave my backbone on. Uh, but obviously Duke has done a, good, uh, a great job of bringing guys in, bringing ex-managers in, and doing all this stuff to kind of like uh, give us an example of what you could do with your money, what you, how you could grow your money, how you pay your taxes, how you save all your taxes. Uh, you guys got to have, have good people around you too uh, that want the best for you and not just want to take something from you. Right. And they tell you what not to do. Yeah. So yeah. Also, right? For sure. For sure. Jeremy, you've been from... You know, the COVID year and then having expectations as large as ever with Coach K leaving um, to last year, kind of flying under the radar. You guys come into this year as the number two ranked team in the country. Um, I guess, how do you quantify your experiences and, and what you've been through, uh, the up and down experience? And um, how do you culminate it into, you know, your ultimate goal this year? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like I said, like I said earlier, I've had a crazy a crazy ride at the opposite the COVID year was a losing season for us so I can share my experiences on that and what I've seen the habits of not like we had bad habits but I, it just was such an unorthodox year that I don't want to go through ever again I mean, and then next year we go to the final four and the next year it's a, it's a new coach and a whole new coaching staff and a whole new um, a whole new team basically um, but then we went ACC and to come around this year we have such an experienced team or not crazy experienced team but just a four out of five starters and then four and the returning guys and then we have such a recruit, good recruiting class coming in so uh, I think just the mix of that the dynamic of that and how deep we are this year yeah. The sky's the limits for us, and just kind of share my experience, even, even with Tyrese and, and uh, Flip, just kind of just uh, going through everything that I went through to get to the front, what we did to get to the final four, how we have to stay together, how we have to just find all the support. It was probably the biggest thing that we did my sophomore year, um, just kind of trust one another. Um, and I just hope that everybody stays the course and everybody buys into that one vision goal. Uh, the sky's the limit for this team. You, you'll see us in Arizona. With that being said, do you feel like this is your best chance to uh, kind of get back there and you know, kind of you know, live out that childhood dream? Uh, for sure. I mean, this is probably one of the deepest things that I've been on uh, since I've been to Duke. I mean, you could probably nine, ten, nine, ten guys at, at, at a certain point. Yeah, but just having the returning guys coming back, it's, it's, it's a special. Um, you don't really see that too much with the Duke programs. Obviously, you know, this hasn't been done in, in years. I'll get to like 04 or something like that. So uh, it's definitely going to be special. And everybody, and like I said, just the buying is the biggest thing. If everybody buys into the rules and shapes their way, um, what they need to, I mean, everything's going to take care of themselves. Is there any team y'all or player you're looking forward to playing against? Team, I mean, obviously that Michigan State match was gonna be crazy. I'm just, I'm just excited for that. Uh, so I just know, I just know the level of what it's gonna be at the United Center, Chicago. Um, I know they're hungry because uh, the last time we played them was around the 32. I mean, they were, they were kind of feeling some type of way about that. But I just, not even, not even about that. I just, I just know it's gonna be such a uh, uh, physical game. And those are, those are the games I want to play. Is it really? Is it really different from every other team, or is it really different different for every other team? Is it different? Uh, it's not. I mean, it's not different. Um, you kind of just keep that same mindset. You want to obviously winning is the main thing, but uh, just playing those games, it's just exciting. Like a neutral site court, um, an NBA arena, like it don't, it don't get no better than that. Michigan, Michigan State, dude, like it don't get no better. You can see Caleb Love again in the game before.